Hello everyone. Today we will see the construction of group multiplication table for C3V point group. Let us take ammonia molecule as an example which has the point group C3V. The symmetry operations of this point group are identity C3, C32, sigma V1, sigma V2 and sigma V3. The number of symmetry operations of this point group are 6. Hence, the product of all these 6 symmetry operations will produce 36 number of product operations which are going to be tabulated in a group multiplication table. So here, this group multiplication table contains the symmetry operations of the C3V point group along this side and this side too. And these grids are going to be filled up with the product operations. So the first row and the first column of the group multiplication table can be easily filled by doing identity followed by identity, identity followed by C3, identity followed by C3 too. That way we get the same operations which are filled in the first row. And the first column of the table can also be filled by taking the product of the symmetry operations, identity followed by identity, C3 followed by identity, C32 followed by identity, like that way. So the first row and the first column can be easily filled. What about the other grids of the multiplication table? In order to fill these grids, we are performing these operations on the molecule. The ammonia molecule has pyramidal shape. So the C3 axis pass through the nitrogen atom at the center and we rotate this molecule by 120 degrees we get this orientation. The hydrogen 1 goes here and H2 comes here and H3 comes here. So we get this orientation. How to perform C3-2 operation on ammonia molecule? Through the same axis, we rotate the molecule twice by 240 degrees. So we get this orientation. This H1 comes here, this H3 comes here and H2 comes here. So in both the operations C3 and C3-2, we rotate this molecule in the clockwise direction by 120 degree and here by 240 degrees and sigma V1 is the plane passed through the nitrogen and the first hydrogen. So the place of this H1 won't be changed and these two hydrogens are going to be exchanged. So we get this orientation and sigma V2 is this plane passed through nitrogen and second hydrogen. So this H2 has its own place and these two hydrogens are exchanged and this orientation is sigma V2 orientation and this one V3 plane pass through the nitrogen and third hydrogen. So third hydrogen has its own place and the other two hydrogens are exchanged. Now in order to fill the second row of the multiplication table, first we perform C3 on ammonia molecule and then the other symmetry operations are going to be performed further. So first we perform C3 operation on this molecule, we get this orientation and thereafter we perform all these operations separately in order to get the product operations. So after the C3, again we do C3 operation on this molecule, we get this orientation because the H3 comes here, H1 comes here and H2 goes here. So we get this orientation and this orientation resembles with C3-2 operation. Hence, we fill the C3-2 here. C3 followed by C3 produces C3-2 as the product. And again, C3 followed by C3-2 gives identity because this H3 comes here, H2 comes here and H1 comes here. So this orientation 
resembles with the original. So, it has identity operation. And third one, C3 followed by sigma V1 gives sigma V2. So, this plane is sigma V1 plane. So, we take this and H3 has its own place and these two hydrogens are exchanged. So, this orientation is sigma V2 orientation. So, we fill here. And C3 followed by sigma V2 generates sigma V3 orientation. So, we fill here. And sigma V3 operation produces sigma V1. So, we fill here. So, by doing that way, we can fill the second row of the multiplication table. And what about for the third row? First, we perform C32 operation on this molecule by rotating it twice. So, we get this orientation. Thereafter, we perform C3 operation on it. So, the operation, the orientation is changed into this. So, it has identity. So, we fill here. And C32, two times we rotate this molecule, we get this orientation. And it has C3. And sigma V1, H2 has its own place. And these two hydrogens are exchanged. So, it gets sigma V3 orientation. And sigma V2, here this plane is sigma V2 plane. So, H3 has its own place. And these two hydrogens are exchanged. It generates sigma V1 operation. And sigma V3, this plane, H1 has its own place and H2 and H3 are exchanged. So, we get sigma V2 orientation. So, the third row of the multiplication table are filled now. Next, the fourth row. First, we perform sigma V1 operation on this molecule. So, we get this orientation. H1 has its own place. These two hydrogens are exchanged. So, this orientation is sigma V1 orientation. And then C3. So, rotate this molecule, H1 comes here, 3 goes here, 2 comes here. So, we get this, it has sigma V1 orientation. And sigma V1 generates C3, sigma V2 generates identity, sigma V3 generates C32 and C32 generates sigma V3. So, now we fill this. The last row of the multiplication table can be filled by doing sigma V3 first. So, H3 has its own place and H1 and 2 are exchanged and perform C3 operation. We get this orientation. It has sigma V2. So, we fill here. And sigma V1 generates C3 2. And sigma V2 generates C3. And sigma V3 generates identity and C3 2 generates sigma V1. By that way, now we complete this group multiplication table for C3V point group. And here we can say that each row and each column of the multiplication table has different symmetry operations. No two rows and no two columns has the same one. Thank you.